didn't, but as we've seen throughout this series, they often bring their best stuff and they want to start well here. So much quality and experience as well. You see Harry McNulty leading the boys out there. And he's 24th in the World Series, but these boys have played a lot of sevens in their time. Before they got onto the World Series full time, they did it the hard way. So they know how to mix it, they know how to deliver. This will be a good opener here in Singapore. Yeah, the eighth overall island on the standings. Ten points from South Africa who are in that last automatic Olympic qualification spot at the moment. It's going to take something pretty extraordinary to get back in that mix over the last three events, but you just never know. Jordan Way, over 150 games on the South World Series as a referee, will take care of our opening game. So, I uh, can see the fifth in Hong Kong last week, but of course, we know what they're capable of. Gold medals in Hamilton and Vancouver this season. And it will be Gaston Revolt to get us started. In his 96th Sevens World Series event, he kicks it to the near side in the direction of Alvarez, but it beats everybody over the sideline. It'll be a, on. an Ireland line out. It's not gone. 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 He's one of the guys that it's everyone's got a lot of love for on, on the World Series. Off what? When those guys pipped us for the it's bronze in Tokyo, the small glimmer of happiness was. For me, anyway, it was the Gaston. Yeah. They've got some success. Well, and yeah. Tangible yeah. success. Yeah. 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 Definitely deserved. Down to him, stay two balls in. Both of you. Yeah, Straight second straight. overall yeah. has been quite Remember a series the for them. Crouch. They actually led last, the last series going Bind. into the last couple Set. of events. They've had a couple of really good years. Santi Gomez Cora has really got this Argentina 7 team humming. It will be Ireland with opening possession. There's Andrew Smith in midfield. An excellent weekend in Hong Kong last week. Ball back inside to Mark Roach, and they're up over the half line, halfway line already arrived. There's Smith digging for possession through the hands of Matthew McDonald, and a nice moment here for Sean Cribben. Tries the dummy, but tell you what, the wily old Gaston Revol doesn't buy it, and it's a turnover. Good cover defence from the old stager. He's not about to start giving up tries easy, is Gaston? So annoying when you sweep with it. The old stalwart coming across to just yep. cancel this out. Ever fearless as well, throwing himself into tackles all the way through his career. He's retired about five times. <laughs> He's been through eight passports to match his number. 2009, Set. he made his debut. That was the last year England won Stay half on ball. London Thank Sevens, you. Tom. Hesitate to remind you. Here's a Sutsuk trying to run the ball out from his own 22. He does really well and passes the ball just behind Marcos Moneta, though. But it did come off the hand of Andrew Smith, I think, and that's an automatic yellow. No, sorry, Jordan Conroy is the man who'll be going to the Simbin for two minutes. Yep, guaranteed yellow, that one. Any sort of knock on interference like that, you're going to go to the bin for two. As you thought, that a great kick out, done the job. Probably could have gone earlier to put Moneta away. Took it right on the edge. Great fend. Get out of the tackle. Look at that, that range on his arm. Such a strength. No, Makes no. him so hard to tackle. And it's subtle. It's a fingertip, a fingernail. Say 21. Yeah, might need a manicure. George Conroy. Argentina, of course, speaking of 2009, played in the Sevens World Cup final against Wales in Dubai. Here's Alvarez, former captain to Luciano Gonzalez. Lucho, as they call him, needs no introduction. They got another penalty. How good's he been, the number 11 for Argentina this series? Oh, the series. Trump. And last week, I was borderline too excited about some of the stuff he was doing. What a handful. Just got this intensity about the way he plays, matches it with the, with the way he looks as well, and the physicality to back it up. Such a great weapon. Speaking of Gaston at dinner last night, he was saying that this generation of players he's got now is magic for him because you know he says he feels like part of the cog in this team, and he's got some superstars around him. Yeah, one of seven brothers, Gaston Revolt. They're all accounted to him. Here's Moneta. Different. Age, 
Marcos Moneta, beginning of his career, but absolutely brilliant. And there's a fine try for Argentina. It's the captain, Osadzuk, who finishes it off. That was nicely worked. Slick, wasn't it, from Argentina, making the extra man count. Moneta, lovely step. We've seen that before. A good presence of mind from Elizal just to hold the ball, pause the offload as Zatrick following up. Really nice little support play. And they'll want to try and drive the tempo now, getting the score. They'll want to make the most of this man advantage. It's so important in the space of those 14 minutes that you do make the most of it. Conversion attempts. Oh, just comes off the upright, so the remain of 5 0. He's, he's approaching. The century of tries, Matthias Sussadzuk, that is number 97 all time. And there's just three more to join quite a select club. Jordan hey, Cormor is the Simmons uh, already part of that group. Working. But for a big man to be racking up tries. Okay, let's go. Back to Seven Island, Jordan Cormor back on the field. Stage. Number 31, Che Mullins for the Bristol Bears. Knock on. Out there for Ireland, double knock on, Argentina. Feet to the scrum. Set piece. Restarts. Talk about it a lot. Jordan perhaps hasn't been feeling it as much as we've been used to over the last few seasons. What's it going to take for him to get back to his try scoring best? Oh, the difficulty when you set a very high bar is to maintain it. That's the set. thing about top level sport. It's still in there. And the dangerous thing here for Argentina is that two minutes rest, so he could be fresh. He scored 50 tries in a season a few years ago. That's into the hands of Che Mullins, but he can't hold on, and it might work out for Gonzalez. It will. Runs clear for Argentina's second. The error from Ireland. Los Pumas take advantage. It's a freebie. Freebie for Gonzalez. Just pops up into his arms. All he's got to do is take it about 20 metres. Bit of attention from Smith, but no dramas for Gonzalez. And that's, it's a tough one. Down in your own half, you make the error. And in this game, you'll be made to pay. He's already over 100 as well. That's number 108 all time. The ice have it. Converts as well. Lucho makes good contact, but just slides by. Both he and Iskro, who are the the tanks up Stop front for this Argentina side. They both kick. Iskra looks after the kicks to the sideline. Okay, you tell me when you're ready and I'll pull And Lucho ready. often does the conversion. I mean, they've got Raval as well, who's a handy goal kicker when required. He restarts here. Here's Andrew Smith. He was the DHL impact player in Hong Kong last weekend, Andrew Smith. For a workhorse. Here's Jordan Comer. Can't get away. Well, marshalled by Rodrigo Iscro. Oh, another mistake from Ireland. It's poor old Che Mullins again. That's two in a row. He's absolutely filthy with himself, the number 31. There's a huge challenge you don't see here is the backing up. It's one of the unique elements of seven. Let's go. The ability to go from the excitement, the adrenaline and the fatigue of last weekend and come out here and do it again. Not just physically getting your body to run nine, ten metres per second and wrestle with some big boys, but mentally having the wherewithal Crouch. to come out here, make good decisions, be focused. It's Five. not an easy task. Clock's in the red final Set. by first half. Attacking scrum for Argentina. We're going to feign to the near side, but Revol's going to go towards Osadza. Here he is again, back to Alvarez. Gonzalez, Iscro. There's Andrew Smith forcing the issue. He so often does for Ireland. They got a penalty as well, so we will play on, even though we're in added seconds here. Smith, good tackle again. Copybook stuff that time from Alvarez. And another mistake from Ireland. It's McDonald this time. And, well, James Toppy is going to have to have a word at half time with this Ireland team. There's a bit of discussion between McNulty and McDonald there, and the captain will just calm him down, and they'll go to half time, and they need to. They need to. That's New Zealand doing that pool as well, and only two automatically qualify for the cup quarterfinals. That is a race worth watching this weekend. And Ireland will try and get into the race here against Argentina, down 10-0 after the opening seven minutes. More possession though for Gonzalez, try score in the first half. 
Alvarez. And Moneta with him. Marcus Moneta, big fan of River Plate Football Club. You know anything about Argentina football? One of the big guns there alongside Boca Juniors. Here's Moneta again, just slips on this very good surface here in Fuck Singapore, you've got to say. It's an amazing no. stadium, this. We should mention Tom Fuck Mitchell. You. You've got to go to see Argentina will set a scrum here. Air conditioned. I mean, it's been absolutely steaming all week. I don't know how you dealt with the humidity, but I've been struggling, I've got to tell you. But you come in here, I mean, it's warm, but it's it's manageable. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a totally different ball game in here on match day as it is than the training in the week. The training in the week, week two, is brilliant. Because you've got to get your blow on as well. You need to flush it out. But it's not enjoyable. Set. How was your session with the Brits on Wednesday? I'm still Did suffering. Unscathed? I'm still <laughs> suffering. I did about less than a third of their session. <laughs> How do you got to have a round? I'm going to need to add some extra numbers. Yes. Alvarez. Gonzalez. Checks inside. Low centre of gravity. About 5'9", 100 kilos. How about the counterweight though from Andrew Smith in Ireland? That's what they need, a bit more of that. Hey, hey, hey. Come here. You got, oh, that's what you need. You, you need got, someone hey, to spark hey, hey. it. Walk you away. could see walk away, right McNulty, away. the leaders at half time, trying to get something out of the boys a bit more. They'll be talking about, you know, maybe he's raising his voice a little bit. You do whatever you can just to try and lift it and ignite ball, yeah. things. Sometimes you need an action like that. Great counter ruck. Great power against some big physical Argentinian boys as well. Smith puts the shoulder in and then carries on, thinks, I'll go again. Look at that. That'll give his boys a lift. They can build something from this line out. Irish fans enjoying finally a team coming to life. Well, they haven't much to shout about until that moment. Here's Mark Roach from McNulty. It was contested by Alvarez, but Ireland bring it down. Here's the man who won the ball, Smith. Off to Connacht, one of the Irish provinces in the URC. Started his career in Dublin with Leinster, like a lot of these Alan Sevens players. There's, there's Lucho Gonzalez with his impression of a dominant tackle. Ireland looking to find an inside pass here. McDonald offloads to McNulty. Gemfrey now up to the 22. Oh, but he rolled one or two many times, and that's a penalty to Argentina. All that good work done really well to make the line break because Argentina keeping seven men on their feet really nicely Gaston doing what he does just sitting as that seventh man just behind the front line very hard to break them down Ireland did a great job of finding a seam he just got isolated whether it was the momentum or he felt like he needed to buy some time he just popped that roll in ref didn't like it and that little bit of excitement for Ireland is going to be quashed here Argentina slow it down. Green, green. Use that 10 point Island. lead to their advantage. Ireland. You might see this a bit weak too as well. Teams managing themselves in these early stages. Sounds real good. Yeah, the matter chain, Liam McNamara's out there. Time back on, please. Number 18 for Ireland. Same starting seven there for Argentina, it looks like. Oh, there's the new man. Thomas Alizar, uh, uh, Santiago Villa fell at number up two. They got a penalty. Absolute billiard table this field, Scum. isn't it? Perfect for rugby sevens. Come off, please. Saw Ruby Tui when we arrived this morning, literally stroking it. She was so impressed. Yeah, Look at these two. They play together. Santi, legend of... World Rugby okay, Sevens. He had a pretty good career, didn't he? 230 tries, third all-time. 61 tournaments, 1,178 points. Bind! Thank you. Set! He really has done great things with this Argentina team. Great continuity with selection. And here's one of the main men, former World Player of the Year, Marcus Moneta so fast, but Jordan Conroy is the tackler, he's quick too. Alvarez, Gonzalez arrives on cue, and then finds a way to offload the ball to Iskrol. Bounce pass across, it was looking Full very pass. good up to that point. Number Ball's eight, gone offside. forward, but Ireland eight. have been done for offside. Right yeah, it looked like from up here, Ireland just creeping. Desperation times, Straight away. they've got to be on it. 
2.30 to go, first half. We must Second half, rather. Yeah, sorry, sorry, so sorry. time ticking away for Ireland. And then tell me late, OK? I often see this now with these days. Penalty, they'll take the scrum. Come on, please. Yeah, particularly in this portion of the field. We need to defend in here. Very difficult to keep a team out. Three of your players are tied into the scrum. You've usually got the scrum half band there as well. And you haven't got any depth of the field to work with when you're five metres out. So a real challenge to defend this, especially when you've got Marcus Mineta lining up just behind the scrum with his skill set and his toe. Set. It's good luck Ireland time. Kind of terrifying. He's going to drift to the right. Oh, no, no, free kick to Ireland. There's no movement of your foot. So they're big on this now, <laughs> hooking. They want the hookers to hook. They want to make it a contest. Players have been told. Commentators have been told. It's, uh, it's a new directive. There's Fergus Jemprey. It's up to the 22. And Ireland need to get a wriggle on here. Under two minutes now. Still two scores down. But they've got an advantage. First on the body. He's going to go quick. They're not going to mess around with the scrum here, Ireland. They just need to get upfield and try and score quick. Jeffrey again. Another penalty, Ireland. Yeah, tap and go again. Flicked on the floor. Not held. Hugo Lennox off. Loads to his skipper, McNulty. Then gives it back to Jeffrey. Fergus on Gonzalez and he just eats him up. And then helps him up off the field. I just hate that. Off, please. I don't like You've just that. been smashed in a tackle and someone helps you up. Taking the mick. He thought about going and then he hesitated and then, no, I got him. Oh, no, I haven't. this man off the back? Number one. It's a great technical tackle from Gonzalez. Great ability to put his power through the point of contact with his shoulder, drive his legs and take... Three and 20 green. Man into touch. Very good. It's not an, e not an easy sack yeah, to make no, well. Yeah. You want to put him over the sideline, you want to go ball and all. 13! Um, perfection. Along with power. Still a minute on the clock here, and Ireland will know if they, if they manage to steal this, get a quick score, yeah, is a game on. Okay, I'll stop. Thank you. Harry has been substituted for Ireland, captain. You don't often see that, especially when they're at line out time here. They've got Tom Roach out there. Okay. Oh, that's space. Looks like Roach is going to do the, Thank you. the lifting on Niall Comerford here. Try Come on. And turn over the ball at the line out. But Herman Schultz is also on the field for, for Argentina. And he is the target. And he wins the ball. Argentina in control now. 50 seconds to go. Two score panics. No score at all in the second Don't half. They went to the break at 10 0. Get inside. Get out. Schultz. Looks like a really good carry from Lazio Graziano, number 21. Subs up. Skips backwards. away. Ball's gone backwards. Play on. All the breaks have gone Argentina's way, but that tends to happen when you force the initiative in games. Oh, it's a beautiful flick over the top to keep the ball alive for Graziano. That was Pellandini with the skill there for Argentina. Here's Gonzalez just working, driving through tackles, and now another big man, Schultz, turns up. He gives it to Osadzuk. He puts the shoulder into Conroy. That's the 22-meter line. Ball's still alive. Yeah, they'll dig it over the sideline. At 10-0, they'll take the win. Save some energy. And the second-ranked team here overall, Argentina, uh, started with a professional performance. They've beaten Ireland by 10 points to nil.